A 3 to 1 mechanical advantage is an odd mechanical advantage, so therefore the rope will terminate at the load. So first thing you want to do is create a termination knot so that you can terminate it at the load. You'll need a progress capture pulley as your change of direction and a traveling pulley. You will also need a rope grab if your haul field um, goes through a change of direction or over a cliff or down a steep slope so that your haul field will go to that and no further. Otherwise, if you don't have that issue of a high directional or a steep slope or drop off of any kind, you can disregard your rope grab and have your traveling pulley attached in at the end of your rope at the load. So what we will do is we will anchor off or, or tie or clip off the end of our rope to the load. If we have a smaller haul field because it's going through a high directional or over a drop off, we will need a rope grab like this triple wrap prussic hitch. We can take our prussic mining pulley as our progress capture, bring the rope through, clip it in, and our traveling pulley, clip it in and attach it into our rope grab. So now it's good to build your system small so it's easy to identify that it's built correctly and then you can extend it out once it's ready for haul. So a 3 to 1 is also known as a Z rig because it takes the shape of a Z. So we can tell that this is a 3 to 1 because we have three strands of rope that are holding back the load. We can also tell it's a 3 to 1 because if we pull and on a haul, we, we, if we can pull three feet of rope and it moves the load one foot, we also know it's a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. Another way that I will mention is the T method. So if we say that our force that we apply on the haul line is one unit of tension, we can follow that through the system um, and taking into account every traveling pulley, um, it is a force multiplier, we can determine how many units of tension are at the load. So we start with one unit of tension on the haul line, it goes through a traveling pulley, so it creates two units of tension through this traveling pulley. That one unit of tension carries on through the change of direction, then we have the two units of tension meeting up with the one unit of tension on this strand at the load. So our input force is one unit of tension and our output force is three units of tension. So we haul on the load and our one unit of tension becomes three at the load. So we can also, if we don't have to worry about a high directional or a drop off of any kind, we can disregard this rope grab and attach the pulley directly into the load, saving us all that room. And now we no longer have to do a reset. We can haul all the way until these pulleys chock a block without having to do a reset. So that is a three to one mechanical advantage or a Z-Rig.